All right, here's what we know. Home prices are soaring, interest rates are high, inflation is making pain for ordinary expenses like gas, gas and groceries hard. So it feels a little overwhelming, right? The idea of owning your own home might seem like a dream. Absolutely, but with careful money management, that dream can still become a reality. Local financial instructor Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation joining us to give us some insight on how to prepare and become a homeowner the right way. Mm -hmm. So good this morning, is Michael. good morning. Thank yeah. you. Welcome. This is really important because for most people, purchasing their first home or even a second or a third home is a huge final financial decision and people don't always understand everything that has to go into it. It's not just the down payment. It's not just the mortgage. There are so many pieces here. And to your point earlier, I mean, there's inflation, home prices are up, mortgage rates have been high for a while now, so it's really difficult. You know, people in Michigan, to purchase the average home, a household needs to have a little over $70,000 of income per year okay. to purchase the average home in Michigan. Is, is home buying the, uh, I know it's the American dream, mm -hmm. so to speak, but should it be everybody's dream? I mean, is that a wise investment still? So purchasing a home is still a really great way to number one, build wealth, build equity. It's not always the right answer, renting versus purchasing. There is a ton of math that should go into the rent versus purchase okay. decision. We could spend all day talking yeah. about okay. rent versus buying. So let's uh, say you've done the math and you're ready. Purchasing makes sense for you, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you do next? So number one, saving for the down payment. We need to have probably at least five to 20% of the home purchase purchase price saved in cash for the down payment. And then number two, making sure that we have enough income coming in on a monthly basis for the mortgage. And with that being said on the mortgage, I, I recently bought a home last year and one thing I had my loan officer do, put everything into the mortgage. Yes. My mortgage, my insurance, my okay. property tax, I put it all into one. So when it comes in at the first of the month, take care of it one and done. Absolutely. There are so many people who they, they do the math on just the mortgage payment. Mm. Okay. And yes, they can afford the mortgage payment, but they forget about taxes and insurance. And then there are phantom costs like maintenance and repairs and all the things that come with home ownership. Oh. Mm -hmm. It can be really expensive. That's why once you do purchase that home and that mortgage, the mortgage taxes and insurance ideally should not be more than 30% of your gross income. So if, if okay. a household- 30% of your gross income. Correct. So okay. if, if a household is earning $100,000 per year as a household, our mortgage, taxes, and insurance should not cost more than $3,000 a month, ideally. Okay. And aside from that, we've got to keep saving on the side yes. for those maintenance things that pop up. You, you, you read my mind, Michael. One thing, once I moved into my home, my lifestyle changed. Mm -hmm. The going out to eat all the time, mm -hmm. the going out every weekend, Club Couch, I joke about it a lot here on Fox, too. You stay <laughs> yeah. at home, you, 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 you save those things. Because pennies. you want to save money, Josh, because you now have an investment to take care of? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. And just to plan ahead, just in case you have that repair X, Y, and Z, you already have it kind of stashed away versus waiting for it to come. Yeah, really having those dollars prepared ahead of time are so, so important. We don't know when the hot water here is gonna go. Mm -hmm. We don't, I just had an AC repair. Summer's around the corner, we're, we're in summer now. Yeah. I had an AC repair, it's expensive. And if we don't have the, the dollars ready, now we're scrambling, dipping into debt, dipping into retirement savings. We don't wanna do stuff like that. All right, so, and so understand that it, you're going to have to make some sacrifices if this is the direction you want to go in, perhaps. It's a really big decision, and that's why, you know, people have to map these things out. If we're just, you know, waking up one day and deciding, I want to buy a house, it has to be a lot more thought, well thought out than that. I think it mm. sounds good, especially if you're paying rent, which can be sort of painful to be parting with your money just, and not building any equity. Yeah, throwing so, money away um, in many ways. Yeah, give it some thought. Okay, we'll see you next hour. Yep, next hour we're talking about elder fraud and abuse, financial fraud with oh, elders. Oh, yeah, it's so important. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Michael. No problem.